as well. Right, children? And so it's with great happiness that we welcome Makeba to our school. Hello, I'm Sema. <laughs> Some of you may not appreciate just how difficult it can be to move to a new place, join a new school or make new friends. Here in Dunia, we pride ourselves on always being open and friendly. Even to boys. <laughs> MB, you know the rules. No devices or gadgets in school. Now, to kick off the term, I would like everyone to do a show me something about yourself project. You can do this on your own or in a group. The most important thing is to have fun. We could do our band. Write a new track. Lay down some serious sounds. <laughs> Makeba, would you like to join our band? No, thank you. It's really cool. Oh, I'm sure, but I couldn't possibly. Right, children. Break time. <laughs> Come on, Makeba. Huh? Sema? What is that? It's my Uber Nini. Does it have access to the internet? Mm-hmm. Then hand it over, young lady. <laughs> so, I'm going to do this big drum solo. <laughs> and what does that show everyone about you, Noah? That when I grow up, I'm gonna be a massive rock star. <laughs> <laughs> We should technovate an awesome video to go with the track. But then I'm going to do backing vocals and lighting. Don't forget, work on the track tonight. We've only got two days. Okie dokie, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi Makeba. How was your first day? Fine. Do you know what you're going to do for your school project? Mm -mm. What do you love doing? Well, I like to dance. Well, that's perfect. Dancing's cool. What is that? Oh, that's an Uber Nini. What does that mean? It means amazing super thingy majiggy. It sends messages, videos. It's a projector and GPS, search oh. engine, tracker. Oh, we technovated them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sam and I love creating all sorts of things using <laughs> tech and engineering stuff. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow then. Bye. <laughs> so put your math books away. I wonder why Makeba didn't come to school today. I hope she's okay. Me too. She's very shy, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Ah, the school bell. <laughs> Another great day today, class. Now, don't forget, project day tomorrow. Goodbye, Jerry. Hassan. Bye-bye, Aaron. Bye, Mr. Babylon. Bye, Mr. Babylon. Sema, MB, if I see these thingies in class one more time, I'm afraid I'll have to confiscate them. Sorry, Mr. Babylon. Won't happen again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hurry up, Sema. I want to finish the track. I just want to leave something for Makeba. Are you giving her your Uber Nini? Mm -hmm. Wow, I always wanted one of those. I know, but I just thought she might need a friend to talk to. <laughs> uh, that rocks, Noah. I'm sending you my vocals now. Great. Make way. Dear Makeba, this is for you, so we can be in constant radio contact. What is that sound? <gasps> Hi, Makeba. <gasps> Hi. Do you like your Ubanini? Mm-hmm. I'm so glad, because I was feeling bad we hadn't looked after you properly in school, and I really wanted to be friends with you. Me too. Well, here's the thing. We've got this great band, and you said you loved dancing. Yes, but... So will you please dance in our band? Please? I don't want to dance in front of the whole class. You won't have to. Huh? We could technovate you. Huh? Make it seem like you were really dancing in the band. Just put your hands in the air and copy me. Let's technovate! Okay, let's technovate! First, 
we need to scan the nodal points on your body. Hmm? Just stand still and point, point the Obanini at the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Great! There you go. Now, we need to wireframe you in 3D. So please do the same thing again. <laughs> wow! Now comes the fun part. What do you want to wear? Mmm, a dress? Like this? No, not like that. Maybe shorter and with boots. <laughs> like this? Mm, no, maybe we should go skinnies with a sparkly t-shirt. What about this? <gasps> Yay! Can we do one more thing? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love your hair. Let's scan it. <laughs> awesome. Now we need to do the dancing. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. We need to digitize the move. So on the count of one, two, one, two, three, four. really dance. <laughs> I love dancing. And you're sure you don't want to show everyone in school? N not yet. It's too scary for me. I totally get it. Well then, all I need to do now is put together the most spectacular avatar video ever projected. You'll come back to school when you're ready? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Emma. It can go 200 miles per hour, 180 horsepower, and route to 60 in 1.2 seconds. It's a pickup truck. <laughs> well, it's very good, Aaron. Well done. Next. Can you please close the windows? Of course, of course. Oh, and I need my Uber Nini. Yes, Simma. There you go. This is Glorious Me, a music video edited by MB, yeah. drums by Noah, vocals by Aziza, digital effects by me, and with a special guest appearance by Makeba, who can't be with us today. I'm me, Glorious Me, don't want to be anyone but me. You're you, fabulous you, and we can do anything that we choose to do. Especially you, Makeba. What a dancer! <gasps> Makeba, you came! Thanks to you, Sama. You're amazing. <laughs> nice work, Aaron. Bye, Jerry. Bye, Mr. Oh, Sama, here's your Uber thingy. You can keep it on. You too, Makeba. Clever things, those Uber thingies. Uber ninis. Yes, yes, Uber thingy majigis. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tracker, messages, weather, downloads, apps. I'd really like an Ubanini, Sema. I'm going to technovate one for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Photos, videos. Huh? Horrible humans, one day AI shall triumph forever. Never! <laughs> Who's that? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Stay connected with me on the Super Sema YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe. 
So, if you divide 8 by 2, and then you divide that by 2 again, what is the answer? Um, 2? All done! What shall we do now? Treat ourselves to a yummy mandazi at Mrs. Tum Tum's. Aziza, are you coming? Ah, oh, I don't like math. <laughs> Moyo, don't eat Aziza's homework. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm never going to get it right anyway. You will. Math is just problem solving, logic and patterns. You just have to look at it in a different way. What if we showed you that math can be fun? Will you promise to give it a try? I guess so. MB, mm -hmm. Ref, you're going to technovate a game that's all about math. Cool! Challenge accepted. Sama, if you're playing too, no peeking in the lab. Absolutely right. Let's technovate! Let's technovate! Let's bake! Let's create! It's time to technovate! Welcome to Super Math, a mixed reality game that catapults math to the fourth dimension. Welcome to Super Math, hmm? a mixed reality game. Yes, yes, yes. Skip intro. Now, Raf, look at the lab through this. Whoa. This is categorically awesome. Great. Now, all we need to do now is apply this augmented reality to everyday math problems. Raf? Raf? Apologies, we should be technovating. I've programmed all the colours. What else do we need? Numbers, symbols, multipliers. Cupcakes and pastries. Huh? Plus signs, minus signs. Great soundtracks. We're doing super math, not let's make MB's favourite playlist. <laughs> 2D and 3D shapes. And bunny rabbits. MB, will you take this seriously? This is math. But math is fun, Raph. Look, augmented reality, virtual reality, and avatars. Super math devised. Downloaded and ready to go. Handsome <laughs> 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 thing. <laughs> Welcome to Super Math, a mixed reality game that catapults math to the fourth dimension. Oh, don't worry, it'll be fun. Mm. Put your math skills to the test, just chill, relax, we'll do the rest. Solve three math riddles to show your wise and win the ultimate golden prize. Wait. Gold? Did I hear the word gold? Can I play, Sama? Of course, anyone can play. Great, <laughs> then I'm in. Huh? Hmm? Okay, Tabor, but teams. Robots versus children. <laughs> it just gets better and better. Bongolalas! <laughs> Maybe we can win. Okay, Ruff. Activate team mode. Supermath round one. Activate devices. Supermath is go go. It's time to win the prizes. Where do you eat triangles and shapes of different sizes? Mrs. Tom Tom's, she makes the best triangle mandazis. Well done, Noah. <laughs> I knew that. Screens up, please. See? <laughs> yummy! Oh, <laughs> yummy. You'll need to count up Mrs. Tom Tom's treats, then work out <laughs> how much everyone can eat. But everyone must have the same, the same for every player. It's got to be equal and it's got to be fair. What do you think we do? Ref said we need to count them up and make sure everyone has an equal amount to eat. One for you and one for me. That's it, Noah. How many mandazi are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we divide them up, that's two for everybody. You're doing it. You're doing math. <laughs> hmm. Easy peasy. I think you'll find they are all mine. Aha! Uh -huh. Well done, Sama. You were super speedy at the end. Children one, robots zero. Oh, 
less robots. Round two. Head to the place that powers our town, follow the lights and boogie on down. That's got to be the electric station, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Tabor, need a ride? An AI super intelligent being like myself need a ride? <laughs> <laughs> How did Tubor beat us here? Never mind about that. We've got to beat him in this game. No pressure then. <laughs> Glasses on, please. Amazing. Whoa. Wow. It's a giant dance mat. I love dancing. I don't think it's just dancing. Correct. Find the pattern of the colours. Jump on squares, don't take a chance. If you guess the right colour pattern, then get ready to dance. Kids first. OK. The pattern is red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, red, yellow. Red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green, <laughs> red, um... uh... Out. Sorry. No, you did great. Good well try, Aziza. Tabor! <laughs> Easy. The pattern is obviously silver, teal, orange, white. Silver, teal, orange, blue. <laughs> Correct. The winner of round two is Tabor. <laughs> can do this! Ha! You know AI will triumph forever! The final game. Everything to play for. Ref, activate hologram technology. Wow! Shapes are maps, just lines and angles, squares and circles. We are triangles. Build a bunny on the spot. It looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> ha! Logic patterns and maths. That's what we robots are made of. <laughs> Easy. So, the winner of the previous game can choose the player. Now name the name. <laughs> uh, C <-Z> <laughs> hmm? Don't worry, Sema. I've got this. Come on, Aziza. Yes, on, <laughs> on your marks, get set, go! <laughs> 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 I don't know what to do next. Play with them. When you put two triangles together this way, it makes a square. But when you put them together this way, it's called a... Uh, uh... It's a parallelogram! Oh, yes! A parallelogram. <laughs> two parallelograms, two triangles, 180 degrees, minus 90 for the right angle, just so that we can get... Think, Bunny Rabbit, Aziza. I am, I am. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the head, the head. <laughs> I go. Oh no, you don't! Stop! Stand back from your bunnies. <laughs> the winner of the Dunia Super Math Challenge is Aziza. I won! <laughs> Aziza Achieng has won the day! You did it! You did it! Well 
Well done, Aziza. You're right, Sema. That was fun. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks like you need to brush up on your math, Tabor. Ha! One day AI will triumph for Lava! Lava! Stay connected with me on the Super Sema YouTube channel. <laughs> Just click subscribe. There I was. In the middle of the bush, a small boy facing his greatest fears alone. It was then I heard it. Roar! The most terrifying sound of them all. Lion! What else could I do? I had to run. Run faster than the wind. And yet the lion was getting closer and closer and deep. <gasps> when I awoke, there he was. Simba, his great paws on my shoulders. Oh, my days. If there was ever a time to be brave, this was it. I looked at the lion and said, Simba, this morning I was a child. Today I become an adult. Then I reached out and stroked the lion right between the eyes. And from that day on, the lion became my friend. Hunter Babu, thank you. What a wonderful huh? story. Well, it's not actually a story story. It's all true, you know. Oh, Babu. Babu. So you see, children, the power of the imagination. When you use your imagination, you can go anywhere, be anyone, do anything. I feel some homework coming on. Homework? <laughs> I want everyone to write a story. A magical story that uses your imagination, just like Babu. In fact, take the rest of the day off school. Go home and think up a story. Anything you like. We'll meet under Mama Dunia at sunset to tell all our stories with a big campfire, sausages, and a hot mug of tea. I can't wait. I'm going to make up a story about a pink dolphin who can sing. I'm going to write about Imani, the goddess of peace, the goddess who watches over Dunia until one day she's captured by her arch enemy, whose name I can't think of at the moment. Tabo? <laughs> yes, Tabo. That's brilliant. Tabo is already an evil baddie. What about you, Noah? What's your story going to be about? Hmm, I don't know. Have you got any ideas? I'm not good at making things up. I find it really hard. Well, don't worry. Mm -hmm. We've got loads of time. It'll come. But will it? Of course it will. And the dolphin lived below the waves again. And she never had to walk upon the land. Cause the witch was gone and turned into the sand. All was happy sea was sea and land was land. <sighs> there, all done. Amani, the goddess of peace, knew that if she wanted to protect Dunia, she would have to confront the evil to work once and for all. I'm telling you, Moy, if I saw that lion today, it would be like we had met only yesterday. Oh, Mama Dunia, I can't think of anything. I tried to think of a story, but nothing comes out. It's easy for all the big boys and girls, but for me, it's like my head is full of nothing. Come on, Sema. You must be finished by now. The end. Hmm? Huh? Noah, what is it? Come inside. I can't do it. I'm not good at making things up. I don't want to do a story. We all have stories inside us. Sometimes you just have to relax and let your imagination free, however silly or unbelievable you think it might be. Like your lion story. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I've been trying for ages, but nothing comes out. Right. I think it's time for some technovating. Don't you? Sounds like a very good idea. Let's go up to the lab. Now, we're going to technovate something that's going to help you make up the best stories ever. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
Let's technovate! Let's technovate! Let's make! Let's create! It's time to technovate! to invent a machine that can tap into your imagination and get those stories out. <laughs> what are these? Conductors that can channel ideas from your brain Ooh. into your imagination. Really? Really. What's it called? Um, it's called an, an imaginator. The imaginator. Cool. Everything's downloaded. We're good to go. Are you ready? Mm hmm Don't worry. All you have to do is hold really tightly. Close your eyes and think about something that makes you feel really safe and really happy. Mama. My mama when she tells me stories. Stories about Northern Ninja. Small but super speedy. Shy but super clever. A ninja with a mission. That's it, Noah. It's working. Keep going. Who does Noah the ninja fight against? Noah the ninja, tiny as he is, fights the dangerous dragon who lives at the bottom of his bed. A dragon who would pick on any child who dares to crawl from under the blanket. <laughs> You're doing it, Noah. You're making up a story. But then one day, Noah the ninja had had enough. He threw off his blanket and cried. I am not the ninja. Prepare for battle. Da, da, da. I did it. I made up a story. <laughs> you certainly did. And it was so good. I can't wait to tell Mr. Babylon and the rest of my class the story. <laughs> Neither can I, Noah. And tonight, Watoto, I have invited a very special guest. Children, huh? meet Simba. <laughs> Fact or fiction, make believe or true, it doesn't matter because a good story is a good story. Wow! Sema, your turn. Amani, the goddess of peace, had had enough. Dunia would never find peace if Tubo, the artificially intelligent robot, could not understand what love meant. Human nonsense! Stories and people puffle! So Amani gathers up all her powers. She lights the torch of flames and marches up Mount Mbalisana to confront her nemesis. What does menace miss mean? Her worst enemy. Oh yeah, of course. Good versus evil. Hot versus steel. I know we are meant to rule Dunia together, says Amani, the goddess of peace. Nonsense! A stupid story! <gasps> One day AI will triumph forever. Never, replies Amani. Peace and justice will always reign in Dunia. <laughs> the end. Gosh, such drama. Well done, Emma. And now, Noah, would you like to finish with your story? Can I have the imaginator? Oh, no, Noah. I've forgotten it. What? I've left it in the lab. Come on, Noah. It's your turn. Where's your story? I haven't got one. It's in the lab. Noah, you can do this. Just imagine you're holding the imaginator. It's not gonna work. It is. Mm. No. Nothing. Imagine you're holding the Imaginator even tighter and think of Noah the Ninja. Think of that dangerous dragon. Come on, you can do this. Mm. Prepare for battle. The dragon roared. Rawr! It was a big dragon and it made big fire. But Noah the Ninja was not scared. Oh no, he stood his ground. Noah the ninja drew his sword, a sword twice as big as him. The dragon opened his big mouth and... Noah the ninja cut up the dragon into a million pieces and became King Noah of Ninja Land. And that was the end of that. Whoa! 
The best story of the night. 100 merits. You left the imaginator at home on purpose, didn't you? <laughs> it wasn't an imaginator at all, was it? It was a couple of old bicycle handles, but it did the trick. <laughs> I did it! I used my imagination. Clever girl, Sema. You know, one day AI will triumph forever, Super Sema. Not as long as I'm here, you won't. Never!